All right, so we have another crazy image over here that we're going to try to edit and research and make it look much better from how it's looking right now. All right, so welcome to day four of our 31 days or 30 days Photoshop retouching challenge. Yeah, and we have the image over here. Let's quickly jump into it and then start editing. Yeah, but before that, kindly subscribe. Don't forget to like this video and yeah share to your friend. Hope this video helps you in your retouching journey and helps improve your retouching skills. So first and foremost, as you know, we're going to duplicate our background layer by pressing Ctrl and then J like that. Let's zoom into our image right here. Let's just, let's just check if there's a need for us to do our basic cleanups. We're just going to do it. So I'm just checking for any imperfection or any pimples and stuff on a face that we have to remove right now so um we have just a few just one or two stuff over here that we're going to try and remove so we're going to select our patch tool like that and then you're just going to circle and then drag it to a cleaner area like that circle drag to a clean area circle drag circle drag and drop to a clean area circle drag and drop to a clean area yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Let me just remove this one. I wanted to leave it because that, that that is not a pimple. That's actually not sure. But then I just removed it by the way. Let me do. Um, I think it's okay. It's okay for now. Yeah, it's okay for now. Yeah. Let me zoom out, control zero to fit the screen. Let me zoom in once more. Let's just check the before and after. So there's a before and there's the after here. Yeah. So now we have a clean plate. We have a clean board to start working on, right? So we're going to duplicate this layer again. Control J. I'm going to hide the first layer. Double click and then rename this to color. Make this visible, rename this to texture. Yeah, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to try and increase our frequency separation adjustment layers. That's where we're going to do all our touches and then our skin smoothing and stuff on. All right, so I'm going to come to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And then we're going to change this. Uh, but before that, let me just quickly turn this off like this yeah then we're going to come to filter blur gaussian blur and then we're just going to keep it at five yeah i think five 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 is okay and select okay accept the change as you can see our image is looking blur yeah let's leave it for now let's select the texture layer make it visible i'm going to come to image apply the image and then we're going to Change this to color and then change this or keep it at subtract and then scale at two and the offset at 128 and then the opacity at 100%. Then we're going to select OK like that. Then we're going to come select this again, come to the blend modes and then change this to linear lights like that. Yeah. And then boom, our image is back. We're back to square one. <laughs> we're going to hold. Control and then select the color layer and then put this in a group. Control G to put it in a group. I'm going to double click on the name and then just change this to FS, meaning frequency separation. All right, so once again, if you want this done automatically for you, you can just check out my digital store to download it. All right, so you're just going to click on it and it's going to play everything out for you directly. So there's no need for you to do the step that we already did. You can just skip. To just start retouching all right so we're going to start our retouching now we're going to select the color layer i'm going to use the mixer brush tool to do this if you've been following my channel you know i really love to use the mixer brush tool for all my retouching or all my skin smoothing all right so we're going to select the color layer like this and then this is the settings that we're going to use so we're going to select the soft round brush we're going to make sure this is set to clean brush. You know, we're going to deselect this one and make sure this is selected. Then we're going to keep this as custom. And then the width as 20. 
theory presents the load at 16 percent the mix at 31 percent and then the flow at 48 percent but this is likely to change right depending on the image you're doing and then the kind of effect you want is likely is going to change right so now let's just jump into the retouching process and then just start smoothing the skin All right so let me just um the open and close bracket keys to make a brush either big or small. I'm going to start to just paint over our image like that. Make sure you maintain the tones. You don't just paint it anyhow. You're not going to paint the highlights into the mid-tones and then the mid-tones into the shadows like that. No, you're not going to mix it. So you're just always going to make sure you're painting within the tones. If you're painting on the highlights, make sure you're painting only the highlights. If you're painting in the mid-tones, make sure you're painting only in the mid-tones. Yeah. The same thing goes to the shadows as well. All right, so I'm just going to paint softly and then gently on our image, just like this. Yeah, so I always love to start on the forehead because it's, it's, it's broad. And then, yeah, it gives you this smooth surface to actually edit. I'm going to just keep brushing. This stuff are going to be a little bit challenging. Yeah, but then we're going to find our way around it. Yeah, just, just, just be patient and then we're going to get there very soon. Right, so let me just even out the shadows over here. Normally I skip this part, but in this video I'm gonna leave it so that you see the exact thing I did. I know this video might be a little bit long, but then yeah, I just want you to see everything. So I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna speed it up. So you're just going to keep brushing like that. Gently though, not, don't be in a rush. I was, you're going to get a rushed result, which isn't mostly nice. There's a carpenter working right behind my building and just banking on stuff over there and it's, it's, it's making noise. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but if you can hear it, I'm really sorry for that. Yeah, so while you at this, kind of like this video. And then, yeah, I'm trying to get my TikTok to a thousand, thousand um, followers so that I can start going live. Yeah, I want to show you more, more of my editings and everything I do when it comes to my work. So kindly follow me on Instagram. Eh, sorry, follow me on my TikTok and then Instagram as well. The links are going to be in the description box below. So kindly do that for me. All right, so. I'm going to brush gently, gently. Oh, let me zoom out. Let's check the before and after. This is the before and then this is the after. As you can see, our image is looking smooth. Let me zoom out. So, yeah, let's go to the nose. I haven't edited the nose yet.
Let me zoom out. Yeah, so this is how our image is looking. That's how our model's face is looking. This is before. This is before and this is the after. Yeah, it's looking nice. So let me just go ahead and then smooth in it a little bit more. Now let's move to uh, the other parts of her body. Yeah, let's move to her hand. Make the brush a little bit bigger. And then just brush like that. Retouching is mostly about how you brush your images. So I'm going to advise you keep practicing and then master how to brush. Yeah, the best way. Let me zoom in once again and then check how our overall image is is looking. This is the before and then there's the after. This is the before and after. Let's zoom in once more and then just do some tiny adjustments and editings to get it looking much better. Okay, so we're just gonna brush over her face a little bit more. Mm, let me zoom in. Now let's start working on the texture. So select the texture like that. We're going to use the, um, the spot healing brush tool to do this. So we're just going to just make sure the texture layer is selected, please. All right, so we're just going to brush, dab, brush, scrub, however you're going to call it on the image like that to so just remove the unwanted part. Let's zoom out. Let's zoom in. Let's check the before and after. This is before, and then this is the after. This is the before, and then the after. I image is looking nice. Let's try and then just remove some textures away as well. Let me zoom out like this. Alright guys, so this is what we're having now. Our image is looking much better. So you can continue with the dodge and burn. You can add some colors to it. And then we can call it a day. So thank you very much for tuning in to day, I think day four. Yeah, day four of my Photoshop, of my 30 days photoshop retouching challenge yeah i'm hoping to finish this successfully and we're going to do a yearly challenge yeah i'm going to give you the details of that one later on so if you love this video kindly subscribe don't forget to like this video and then see you guys in day five bye bye for now